Hello, and welcome to another live stream. Uh, we're taking a break today from our usual Top 5 Live. I really love the Top 5 Live format because I love Top 5 lists and doing it live helps uh, get the fans going and you know you guys help us out with our honorable mentions and everything we're gonna do that chris and i are probably gonna do that tomorrow we have a we, we may have a special guest uh tomorrow on our top five live um spoilers it is going to be a top five list on nintendo gamecube games so just get excited for that that's going to be a lot of fun anyways uh today i'm going to be playing uh skyrim it's a game that i've played oh countless times but I've never played it on the Nintendo Switch, um, and I've had I've had the Switch version for a little while now, and um, I thought it would be fun if we went to, uh, through the character creation and you guys help me uh, do a character. So let me get my controller synced up here. There we go, and uh, and yeah, let's just go through it. Cool. I know about safety tips. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so tomorrow we'll do Top 5 Live with uh, our Top 5 GameCube games, but today uh, we're going to be creating a character. As I said in the description, we can either do a fun character or a hideous character or a beautiful character. Um, I'm, I'm going to take a lot of cues from what you guys think, and of course, you know, if you're like, you should be a cat person or you should be a, um, an elf or whatever, you know, obviously uh, uh, the people who super chat, they will get their way. Um, I will try to take uh, everyone's suggestion as much as I can, but if you do super chat, I will have to take your suggestion and and do what you say, unless somebody super chats more than you. That's all I'm going to say about super chats. Anyways, getting back to Skyrim here. Let's see, can I skip the intro? Well, if you guys have never played Skyrim before, Skyrim is fantastic. Uh, this is my first time. I've actually owned it on the on the Switch here for about a year or two, whenever it came out. But um, you know, because I have Skyrim for PS3 and Skyrim for PS4 and PC and everything else, you know, it's like I've already played this game like ten times. It's fantastic. I could play this game for forever. But um, you know, I, uh, I I had it for Switch, and I thought now would be. The I actually bought it for Switch because I wanted to live stream it, and then I never did. <laughs> So, here is Skyrim. Unfortunately, we have to get through this little intro part before we can get to the actual uh, character creation, which is what we're going to focus on. But if you've never played Skyrim before, what an excellent game. And this is this is what it looks like. Now, ultimately, if you have like the uh, special edition for PC or PS4, it's going to look a little bit better than this. Um, but uh, this is essentially the world of Skyrim. Skyrim is the country to the north um, in, on the Elder Scrolls map, and it's what we are exploring in this game. It's really cool. It is home mostly to the Nord, which are a Viking-like race of people. Um, and, but of course, you can be any type of race that is in the world of the Elder Scrolls. Anyways, let me try to see these co comments are flying. So... Um, I'm going to see if there's anything uh, going on in the chat. Uh, uh, hello, everyone who's in the chat. Kujul Swinging Barbarian says they're just going to keep re-releasing Skyrim until the end of time. I agree. Even after we have Elder Scrolls X in, like, 2050, <laughs> we're going to get, uh, you know, more editions of Skyrim. I love Elder Scrolls. I was a big fan of the originals, but I, I would say I fell in love with this series with Morrowind. And Oblivion was my favorite. Um... In fact, I would say that um, just like how it was for me with Fallout 3, kind of coming into like something else here with Skyrim, when Skyrim first came out, I was a little disappointed because it didn't have as much of, I felt it didn't have as much as the uh, of the uh, technical prowess, like the way that you build your character that uh, Oblivion had. And Oblivion was Elder Scrolls 4. And for everybody who doesn't know this, uh, Skyrim is Elder Scrolls 5. It is the fifth Elder Scrolls game. <laughs> So, um, it is definitely not the first. I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, when are they going to make a Skyrim 2? And they don't realize that Skyrim is actually the fifth game of a series. But anyways, the previous game, Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, was really cool. Um, and Skyrim kind of simplified some things, so at first I didn't care. But over time, it, this grew to be absolutely my favorite Elder Scrolls game. Um, and I can play it an infinite amount of time. Um, let's see. We got we're getting so many comments in the chat. Nicholas Patton says, Rich, if you're seeing this, you're you've 
got to make a new game with the mod Crimes Agent Against Nature when given the chance. One of the characters you can create using it is a kitten sticking out of a stump. Wow. <laughs> no, I've never heard of that. Uh, Moki Moki Guy says, a gaming channel, so your channel is clogged up and messy. I remember back in the days of Season 2, y'all just did skit update videos and vids about that was cool, and y'all had your second channels. Yeah, kind of talking about the, the heydays of Ridge Offers, and when he says Season 2, for anybody who doesn't know this, we used to have a show called Stupid Mario Brothers, and uh, it was really popular. So yeah, we did that. But, you know, of course, we don't do that anymore, and it is mostly just a gaming... I mean, it was always a gaming channel. We just, you know, happened to do something popular that was Stupid Mario Brothers that detracted from the gaming. <laughs> no, but it's fine. I don't care. I know it's messy. It's it's This channel is about 15 years old. And so, yeah, it gets a little bit uh, gets a bit clogged. There's thousands of videos, whatever. It's okay. I don't mind. You know, they say a messy room is the sign of a creative person. So, uh, I don't know. Take that for what you will for a messy channel. <laughs> um, anyways. Yeah, uh, Luna, Lunar Lover says, I've spent like a thousand hours on Skyrim, modding it on PC is fun. Yeah, there's tons of fun mods you can do on the PC version, which is why the PC version is probably my favorite. Here we go, where they're going to ask us some questions, and then we're going to actually be able to create um, what, we, uh, what we want here. Okay, here we go. Here is the whole point of this video. We could be anything. So I'll go through all the things. So Argonians are like lizard-like people. And, and uh, one more time, uh, just in case you're coming in right now, this video is going to focus on uh, character creation. We're going to have some fun building a character here. I will try to take some uh, suggestions from comments. And just once more, if you obviously if you super chat, I will have to take your suggestion. We have Argonian, uh, which is the lizard-like people. We have Breton, as soon as it loads in here, is like a normal-looking dude. We have a Dark Elf, which if you've played D&D is like a drow, and I guess it's just more commonly known as a Dark Elf now. Um, and we have High Elf, which look like this. <laughs> uh, Imperials, which are basically like kind of like Romans. You know, there's no Roman Empire in this game because it's a... Uh, it's uh you know not earth it is uh you know but but these they, they, they're so sort of kind of look like uh romans and because they are part of the empire you know they they're very inspired by uh the roman empire khajiit is exactly what you think a khajiit is i'm not just kidding but it's a cat person so we can go cat person i sometimes go cat person i usually go nord though um so nords as i was saying nords are the big viking dudes um like this guy here and nord is the most common race in skyrim they you know that's why you know if anybody's played this game you know skyrim belongs to the nord you know the nord are kind of fighting for their independence from the empire and all the other all the other races you know they've kind of been taken over by some things you know and i i i, I love this if we play more and we get deeper to the game i'd love there's a there's the there's the guy in town that's like forgive me talos oh talos <laughs> <laughs> and you know because talos is the nord's god that they're not allowed to worship anymore because of reasons that we probably won't get into in this video anyways uh yeah chris as silver shadows 721 says messy room equals organized chaos you said it chris um uh jh95 said i can attest to which is probably a statement always messy room always made the best stuff um uh, let's see here uh jeremy scungio says be the ugliest you can be um, well, we're gonna try. Anyways, we got a few more races here. We got orcs, which are, you know, orcs, you know, in, in fantasy, they're, they pretty much, you know, you know what an orc is if you've played any Dungeons and Dragons or read or watched Lord of the Rings, you know what an orc is. It's part of pretty much every, every fantasy. <laughs> uh, we got Redguard, which are these dudes. They're really cool. Uh, they're, they're also from like a different part of the, uh, Elder Scrolls world. And then we got uh, the Wood Elves, which look kind of like High Elves, but a little bit smaller and a little bit skinnier. Um, and they are kind of weird looking. So anyways, uh, so now you know what all the races are. Let's see here. <laughs> okay, so I think uh, I will start with the first actual suggestion that I've gotten right now, which is be the ugliest you can be. I personally don't care for the look of the high elves. I think they look very alien. So we're going to start with the high elf. Um, and we're going to go the ugliest we can be until somebody else has a, another suggestion. 
Okay. Finish your name and character. No, cancel that. Okay, so anyways. We could be female or we could be male. This game, yeah, the, I noticed that the Switch version, it takes takes a couple seconds to load in things. Man, on my PC, it'd be like the buttons are like click, 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 click instantly. But here it's like I switch to female. It takes like two whole seconds for it to switch. Hmm. I don't know if I can suggest the Nintendo Switch version of this game. <laughs> so we're going to be, uh, we're going to be, uh, man, we're going to be, let's see, we got some presets here. Let's see if we can find a nice ugly one. Ew. That one's pretty ugly. All right. Let's go skin tone. Let's give it this nice olive color. Weight. Let's make them big and bulky. Okay, got it. so head complexion. Let's give him just a really r rough complexion there. Let's add. Uh, wait, it was right here. Let's add some some dirt levels here. Dirt color. Get him a big old scar coming down. Let's get some war paint going on. Uh, let's do it. Uh, I don't want the war paint to look cool because we're supposed to be making an ugly character, but I don't know. This guy is kind of starting to look a little cool, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, Nicholas Patton said that wood elf looked like the ugly cousin of Ganondorf played by Matt. <laughs> uh, let's give him a really, let's give him a high nose. Let's make it a really long nose. What can we do as far as jaw? Let's give him no jaw. Let's get it really deep in there. We'll go forward. Cheekbones a little bit lower. Go in cheek color. There we go. Laugh lines. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Kuchel Swing of Barbarian said switch equals supercomputer. I don't know about that. <laughs> hey, Kaylin Guthrow is in the chat and says, hi, hello nose color man i have i clearly haven't messed around with a lot of things usually i just do a few things and go good <laughs> neck color too now let's see forehead color let's keep that light just for whatever uh eye shape i don't really care his eyes look fine brows fine mouth shape oh dear let's give him a little smirk okay <laughs> um okay Mouth forward. Let's go. Oh, whoops. Okay, we got chin. Chin width. Let's give him a really skinny chin. People usually associate really skinny chins with evil. Like, if we go too wide, he starts to look very masculine. And then when we go too skinny, he starts to look like Jafar. And for some reason, people associate skinny chins with evil, and hence Jafar, and any other Disney villains that have those long, skinny chins. Uh, Elite Gear 1211 says, what game is this? <laughs> this is this is Skyrim. Um, anyways. And my cat's throwing up in the other room. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's put that shin all the way forward. Lip color is... We go a little darker on that lip color. Okay, hair. Here we go. This is where we can actually design the... Uh, the hair here oh look we could turn his head around that helps for the hair part we can go oh that's there's some there's some really interesting hair designs here <laughs> um we go mohawk but again that's like more cool whoa who's there it's rev hello are you there is the, is this faith it, yes <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Faith. Uh, say hello to YouTube. Oh, hi, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so uh, sorry. I, I had myself in the second. Uh, I had myself in a Discord channel, and uh, everyone meet Faith Allen. <laughs> hello, YouTube. <laughs> we are making now. the ugliest Skyrim character right now. Oh, no. Or at least that's um, the goal: is to make an ugly Skyrim character. I'm uh, happy to jump back up to the other channel. Okay, <laughs> it's it's whatever it's whatever you want to do. I'm sorry. But no, I I don't mind one bit. I I I think that 
you prefer to focus on YouTube. Tell me if that assumption is correct. Oh, I don't mind. It would be nice to have an a, like. Um, if you go, you should. If you're going to stay on though, you should find my YouTube channel so that way you can play along <laughs> if you want. <laughs> but uh, okay, Rich, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> I will pull up your YouTube channel. Oh, excellent. Brandon will be joining shortly as well. Let's give him this like evil little Jafar goatee too, since we already gave him the Jafar chin. We could do all kinds of different colors here. This, I like this kind of jet black. Look at this. This guy is... I don't know. This guy... I was supposed to make an ugly guy, but this guy is actually looking um, really cool. <laughs> All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold here for a moment so that Faith can see what we're doing here uh, when she gets on the YouTube channel. To the YouTube. I like that scar. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this guy looking ugly or is he looking too cool for school? I'm I'm thinking he's looking too cool. Well, you know. We can go back here. Anyways, let me let me uh since uh, since I'm going to hold it here for the character creation. Let me see what people are saying in the comments. Um Chris says, "Lol, real-time call in." <laughs> hey. And hey, there's Brandon Glazer, my friend Brandon Glazer. <laughs> <laughs> it's my friend Richard Alvarez. Oh my God! Hi, so Brandon. good to see y'all. Say hello to YouTube. You're on a, yeah, you're on YouTube, babe. Oh no! Thank God <laughs> you told me that now. <laughs> Jesus, dude, why didn't you say that? Uh, quick, <laughs> before he says something profane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, quick, before I break literally every YouTube law ever. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Actually, I'm, uh, I'm on. I see you, Richie. I mean, not you. You're Jafar guy. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you're on the YouTube channel. You see my guy. Okay, so how can we make I'm this on guy? The YouTube. What do you think of this guy? He might be done, but uh, we, we, we started out trying to make the ugliest Skyrim character, and I think we've made somebody who looks actually pretty cool. He is a high mm -hmm. elf with a cool, dark, jet blue, jet black mohawk. And he's got a scar. He's actually looking really cool. He kind of looks like a lizard person. With his green lips and his green eyes. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, in general, I think he's cool. I mean, we've seen what the lizard person looks like, and, you know, he, he, he's getting there. Yeah. He's, maybe he's a hybrid. What if we just say he's kind of a, a halfling, like, not not like a hobbit, but like, you know, a half 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 breed? How do, how do you say that? He, he was a, an oops. He was an oops? That's what he was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he's a quarter lizard. He's a quarter Argonian, and... Um, <laughs> And, and and three quarters high elf. Uh, Brooke Benjamin in the and comments says, love the 100%. character so far. Oh, Nicholas Patton says, hi, Brandon. Is Brandon still here or did he get scared and leave? I'm here. Oh, good, good, good. I, I was hoping you'd stick around. I, I, yeah, I, I wanted to, to warn you, you were on YouTube. I, 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 I was in the secondary channel. <laughs> and so, um, actually, I was kind of hoping, I, I secretly was hoping people would jump in so they could be on the, on the stream with me. Um, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, say... Sorry, do you want me to leave you alone? No, absolutely not. I want you to stay. I mean, I'll, I'll get out of here if you want me to, dude. No, dude, I I, I would like you to stay. <laughs> it's like the, the Wayne's World thing. Well, I'm gone. We'll get going then. Well, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm here to stay. <laughs> uh, Silver Shadow, Chris, says, You never know when a Rich Alver stream turns into a conference call with friends, lol. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we can move on from character creation if you guys want to see the dragon. I, I think we've got a pretty cool character here, so I'm going to say done with the Y button. And once again, I am playing the Nintendo Switch version. And because I'm not going to save this, or maybe I should, I don't know. What should we call our character? Um, I'm just going to call him uh, Garbage, I think. That's what I'm going to call him. His name's going to be Garbage, guys. What, uh, what class is he? He is a high elf, uh, and we started out trying to make the ugliest guy, but he looked actually pretty cool. You're gonna name a high elf Garbage? Garbage, yeah, because he looks well, mm. yeah, because he looks weird, and because <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> All right. Oh, Archie! Hello, Archie. Yeah, Archie's here. He says this character looks dope. <laughs> Archie, I love you. Forget the list. I miss you. Move to California. <laughs> yeah so a lot of you guys have never played skyrim before we're about to encounter our first dragon here 
which is going to be cool. There's a great Twitch clip of me encountering my first dragon, actually. Nice. It was pretty funny. Brooke Benjamin says Skyrim is on the Switch. It's it's funny how uh, um, a lot of a lot of really big Switch releases go unnoticed, like this one here. This it, it was they tried to make a big deal out of Skyrim coming to the Switch, but unfortunately, Nintendo Switch was like the seventh console that Skyrim came out on, and I strongly feel, and I think it was even after the um, special edition came out on PC and PS4. So it's kind of like uh, nobody cared. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like uh, no one gets that is true As we come in, that is true there's a lot of games that get released on um, switch that I'm like what when did that happen They're like three <laughs> years like, ago and I already own it <laughs> so wait you're playing Skyrim on switch right now Skyrim on switch come on. I haven't got all morning. and it looks decent the last time I played it was I played <clears> the, uh, the HD edition for PS4 and it did look a lot better than this <laughs> but um, but we're playing it on Switch anyway, just because I hadn't played it on Switch yet. So you're not Ooh. gonna have any Thomas the Train mods or anything? No, no. <laughs> yeah, I could jump on PC if I wanted to make it super crazy. You guys just saw beheading. Good thing it was like a super campy, not realistic one. <laughs> it looks worse on Switch, so you know. <laughs> it just looks terrible. It's less violent because it's just like. Way more pixelated. It just looks like a stick coming off of a bigger stick. <laughs> uh, hey, Brandon, while I have you here, uh, we're talking about Skyrim. What's your favorite part about Skyrim? I was talking earlier about how Oblivion was my favorite, and I had to kind of get used to Skyrim, and it took like a year for Skyrim to become my favorite because I loved how much more complicated uh, character building was in the previous Exactly. Game. Yeah. Yeah. So I know you share well, a sentiment. Did about you? That. So so wait, you're saying that now nowadays Skyrim is your favorite of the Elder Scrolls? I feel like Skyrim has become my favorite, but mostly like if if I was just playing it on console here, it probably wouldn't be my favorite, because the thing that makes Skyrim my favorite is actually probably the mods, because with the mods, the mods you can amazing. do a lot of cool stuff. You could do a lot of cool stuff in Oblivion mods too, but Skyrim because it's newer and 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 uh, it's a little bit more advanced programming wise. It, it kind of yeah. opened up mods to, to do a lot more stuff. And I've probably played Skyrim a lot more now than I've played Oblivion. But there's still a lot of excellent reasons why Oblivion could be my favorite. And I, that's why yeah. I wanted your opinion on that. Well, like, Oblivion, when it comes to RPGs, Oblivion is better because of, like you said, there are much more complicated characters. There's, like, six or seven stats instead of the three in Skyrim. And there's all sorts of you know intricacies there that they don't have in Skyrim but the thing about Skyrim that's so much better when you're actually like getting into the nitty-gritty of playing the game is that it the way it, the way it looks compared to Oblivion like I don't know if you've gone back and played Oblivion lately but when you're just like roaming around you know between cities it's just like barren with like a couple trees here and there and it doesn't feel super immersive and adventurous like Skyrim does when you're like you know, wandering around, you see a cave and you hop into it. Yeah. I don't know. It's the way the Skyrim looks that, that I feels better. But it, pretty Absolutely. much everything else about Oblivion is, is better. <laughs> oh, shoot. This guy just died. He, he just he just ate it. That means that he won't be coming back later in the game. This dude that's like the leader of the rebels or whatever. Oh, oh wait, that, that wasn't him. Following? Never mind. Here he is. I, I got the <laughs> wrong person. <laughs> Yes, RG, it is I. All these guys look the same. It's not this guy. It's I who love you. Yeah, this is the guy. I think we're the one thing I I do love way more about Oblivion too is that things don't level with you. You know, so like you yeah. walk into, or they, or I think they do, but they don't as much as they do in Skyrim. They definitely don't in in Morrowind. When you walk into a cave in the beginning of Morrowind, there's just like crabs that like instantly one shot you because they're just a couple levels ahead of you, where in Skyrim, everything is, like, kind of always your level, and there, nothing's ever super challenging. You can walk into any room and kind of, like, hold your own. Yeah, for sure. But in Oblivion or in Morrowind, you have to, like, ooh, someday I'm going to come back to that cave, and I'm going to play X going to give it to you. <laughs> X going to give it to you. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I, I totally agree. Man, I, I, I gotta admit, I'm not enjoying the Switch version. It's really laggy. The uh, the buttons are a little bit 
behind. Uh, it looks like everything's a little bit more stilted looking, if that makes sense. Like, like the frame rate is off or something. Like, usually this, usually when playing this part of the game, it usually feels like there's a real dragon, like, burning up a real village and you're in the middle of it. This just looks bad. <laughs> <laughs> is it that bad? I gotta, is there a link on Discord? Uh, oh, you can, it's not on Discord, but you could just go on YouTube and look up for Chalvers and it should be right there. I found there. it. You found it, yeah. Found the, it. The I'm actual stream... <laughs> The, uh, the actual stream is going to be like 20 seconds behind what I'm seeing because, you know, stream lag. Here's the dude. Here's the dude. Oh. Oh. Dragon. Yeah, dude. Let's get right up to this dragon. Look at that texture. It doesn't look good. I didn't actually go into this expecting to complain so much. I just I just thought that since this came out after the HD edition, they would, they would try to make it look better. But this... <laughs> I don't even know if this looks as good as the standard version of the game, honestly. I I could be I could be wrong, because I haven't played in a couple of years here. But I remember <laughs> Skyrim looking better than this. Of course, the last time I played was the HD edition on PC, uh, or no, what did I say? I think it was the HD version on PS4. Well, I've played the HD version on both, and they look great. And you can Brandon, mod the Archie PC. Archie said hi. Well, who's Archie on here? It's... He's morning, morning coffee, coffee run. run. Oh my god. Hi, Archie. <laughs> Chris also says hi. He's in the hi, chat. Chris. Wait, who's Chris on here? He's Silver Shadow. Oh, Marty Man super chatted. Um, he says, Mario what is 64 a super, chat? super chat. So super chat is when you actually, uh, a fan will pay for a comment so that you, theirs absolutely gets read. Or sometimes oh, I too, see it. Dude, stop explaining it to me. Pay attention to his. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Comment. So, anyways, Marty Man says <laughs> Mario sixty four from season two finale. I'm assuming from uh, Stupid Mario World, which is a show we did, and he says N Legacy, which is Stupid Mario Legacy, is now in Smash. All you got to do is make a Mario or which Alvar is me and download the Vault Boy me costume. Oh, how interesting! I'm gonna have to check that out. I gotta do a Smash Bros. Uh, stream. I have yet to do that. You let me guys. Let, hey guys, let me know if these Nords are talking louder than you want them to. I can turn them down. <laughs> Skyrim belongs to the Nords. Skyrim, forgive me, Talos. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> Man. Full <laughs> chain. Oh, there we go. I don't know, dude. This game, it's looking a little rough. <laughs> that is really cool, Marty Man, and thank you so much for super chatting. Good old Marty Man. He's a good guy. Yeah, I think the next game I'm going to stream... Well, like, like I would say, what, what do they want to kill me for? What do they want to kill me for? Oh, it's because I escaped. Oh my god, I don't even know how to equip my weapon... Or punch in this version of the game. Oh, there we go. It's the switch shoulder button. So I will say right off the bat, one of the most annoying things is that I'm using the Joy Cons. You know, the the switch controllers, which are two little things that you hold in each hand. You know, and it just doesn't. So feel it's not right. one big controller. No, you can use. You can get a. Pro, it, it does. You can get a pro controller. A pro controller does not come with the console. And basically, a pro controller is a real controller that you can use for games. But uh, the console comes with just a little two joy. So you're holding it like in nunchucks. Yeah, they're small. They're way smaller than the Wii than the, the Wii nunchucks. God, I'm so out of the loop, things. dude. And, I don't think I've uh, ever played a played a Nintendo Switch. I'll have to show you. Actually, no. Doesn't Corey have one over there? You play it over there. Yeah, I've never played it though. Oh, okay. Look, uh, what's it called? Animal Crossing came out, and no one's seen the Nintendo since then. <laughs> <laughs> Parmley, Parmley actually broke Corey's controller yesterday. <laughs> oh damn! From playing oh, no. too much Animal Crossing. Let me just punch these guys in the face while they're throwing axes at me. Yeah, why don't you have a weapon equipped? Are you going unarmed? I, I'm unarmed because I, I I don't know how to pick things up with these controls. Oh no! I think if you go to the, your menu and go to items, you can equip them. Ooh, right? Is that dude, how you I punched do it? him right in the crotch <laughs> and then picked him up and threw him. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, here's uh, okay. Let's see here. Search A, take sword, and that and that and that. Okay, back. And then what is the menu button in this one? Oh my God, Nintendo! Is it the plus button? I think it's nope. That's uh, systems. All right, we're only going to be playing this for like five more minutes because <laughs> it's tough, man. Dude, there's a spider on top of my house. What the heck, spider? Get down! Oh wait, I have a crossbow. Uh, for for anyone in the chat that is like, what is she talking about, spider on top of her house? Faith is playing Minecraft right now, and I actually do hope to stream Minecraft at some point in the future too, because I make a lot of dope stuff in Minecraft. Um, with Brandon's permission, of course, since it is his server, I, I'll show you guys some stuff in Minecraft. I don't, I don't see why that's a problem. The torture room. Cool. Uh, well, as, long, as long as you don't blast the uh, address. To yeah. the hey guys, here's how to get in. And then like three web. people show up. Yeah. That happened to me one time, actually. Oh, really? Oh, shoot. Don't you even know what's going on? My, uh, my server address got posted to 4chan. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, everybody on 4chan is like, Brandon, server, everybody get in. <laughs> well, all these people started joining, and I was like, what is happening? Like, who are you? And they're like, uh, B sent us. And we were like, oh my god. It was this guy, this kid that was trying to get on the server, and he was mad that he couldn't. And so he posted the address on 4chan. Oh, well, that sucks. It made me really sad. Damn. Oh, I'm all the chat. Ever since I mentioned Minecraft, everyone's like, "Stream Minecraft, stream Minecraft." Everybody wants Minecraft. Minecraft. Yeah, dude, you're playing a game from what are the, uh, November 11th, uh, 2011. Yeah. I mean, Minecraft came. Well, I mean, okay, the beta of Minecraft came out in like 2009, but I think it yeah, but the, we just got a we just got a uh, a server or a you know a Minecraft update. update. Yeah, so it's like update. it's like a brand new game, dude. It's like a brand new game. It's got some new color blocks. <laughs> uh, no, but I love my, I, I know <laughs> Minecraft is like one of those games that's popular forever. So, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Like we'll stream it and people will love it. People, especially my fans love Minecraft apparently. So uh, I think it's all good. So yeah, we'll maybe we'll stream it uh, next weekend or something. Anyways, I think I'm I think I'm about done with with Skyrim here. This, this Nintendo Switch version is actually really disappointing. I'm really sad to say. I wanted to enjoy it, but thank you guys uh, so much. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Faith. Uh, thank you, everybody who has uh, who has come into the voice chat. Thank you, everybody in the uh, text chat. Thank you, Marty Man, again for super chatting. Um, Chris and I will be streaming our top five GameCube games tomorrow. So don't forget to like this video, uh, comment on this video when it becomes an actual video, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if, for whatever reason, you are not subscribed already. This is Rich Alvarez. Thank you so much for joining me, and bye-bye. Everybody say bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.